take your viewers on a virtual tour of your Lego city, showcasing all the different areas, buildings, and landmarks. In this video, we are going to make a working ChatGPT humanoid out of Lego. Yeah, so I have bought an Arduino Uno starter kit or something like this. Then I got a uh, sound sensor. I, you will see later why. Then I have built this uh, module here. We will look at that later on. And then I got a computer here with uh, Arduino's uh, this uh, computer software downloaded so I can get right into coding. So firstly, I will present to you the concept of how, of how to do this or how I'm going to do this. So the plan is that I'm going to have the sound sensor connected to this. Then I'm going to have my phone with ChatGPT like talking to me on talking mode. And then I'm going to have this Lego kind of like mech or something like that. And then it's going to open this mouth always when it speaks so i'm going to connect this sound sensor via this close to my phone and then have this speaking when it detects the speaks or something like that so the way this works is actually i have put some gears in here and then plates with those gear plates or something like that and then we just pin this and it works and then really simple eyes i'm not not sure if i'm going to do in this video the eyes but let's see what i can make so firstly i think i'm going to introduce myself to this and then look some other things Okay, everybody, I have done quite a few Arduino projects here, and this is the current version of Gary. It has a little like uh, distance sensor, so when I put my hand in there, it opens his mouth or closes actually. <laughs> so this is where we have gone. I connected a servo motor there. So it can only spin 180. And I put that in there because I can't really control the normal DC motor yet. What is in this pack? Wait a second. Like this because... Um, I don't know, it's difficult. <laughs> And also because it spins a little bit too fast and it's, I think uh, this will be enough for this. And I will maybe get a, another servo for the eyes. And talking about the eyes, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave uh, these as eyes or am I going to put this section on top? What do you say? Well, I don't know, but I think it's looking good in this stage. Yeah, I bought the Arduino kit a few days, few days ago and two days after. Here we are. And I did a little bit of shopping because we needed sensors because the sound sensor wasn't a sound sensor. Okay, so I just did a test. It runs perfectly. I will show you in a second, but there's one problem I show you. 
when that kind of like spins in there, it gets this, like, this gets like that. I'll have to come up with some sort of design to block that, because that's really bad. So, see you in a second. This is Gary. One, Lego City Tour. Take your viewers on a virtual tour of your Lego City, showcasing all the different areas, buildings, and landmarks you've built. You can provide commentary and share interesting details about each location. Two, Lego Building Tutorial. Film step-by-step -step tutorials showing how to build specific Lego sets or custom creations. You can break down the building process into manageable steps and provide helpful tips and tricks along the way. Three, Lego challenges. What's your name? You can call me Gary, just like your Lego robot. Let's make some magic happen on screen together, Marcus. Okay. So, tell me a fun Lego fact. Sure thing. Did you know that in 2012, Lego overtook Ferrari as the world's most powerful brand, according to a brand finance report? It's pretty amazing how beloved and iconic Lego has become over the years. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so as you probably saw, that wasn't perfect. But you know what? That was my first Arduino project. Like, at least what I did on my own. So, I'm a little bit proud of it even. And start practicing more about Arduino. And we will do another thing with the Arduino in the new future. That is making a burglar system for my Lego. Stay tuned for that. And see you on the next video. Bye!